For more on Russia's invasion in Ukraine, joining us right now is Hoover Institution a senior fellow, former National Security Advisor and U.S. Army Lieutenant General H.R. McMaster. He's also the author of Battlegrounds, The Fight to Defend the Free World. And we appreciate you being here this morning. I, I'll start just with a very basic question, your reaction to the news as you woke up. Well, I, I think it's not a surprise, obviously. And, and as you were just discussing, the warnings have been there for a long time. And, you know, it, it fits into the broader context of, of what Russia under Putin has been doing, at least since 2007. And you could probably go back to, to 2000. So I think what's important to know is this, we're in this competition, in this fight for the long haul with Russia. Just consider that this is an invasion that began in 2014. This is a country under Putin who has enabled you know, serial episodes of mass homicide in the, in the Syrian civil war that has attempted coups a, across Europe and is determined determined to, to restore Russia to national greatness by dragging everybody else down. So I think as you've been discussing, I don't think we factored in the geostrategic risk from an economic perspective and add on to this now, right? Putin's visit to China just before this, during which I'm sure Xi, Xi Jinping greenlighted this, and this growing relationship and alliance, I would say, between China and Russia, authoritarian regimes that I think are determined to dominate the Eurasian landmass. And, and this calls for a concerted response ac across the free world. So, but let's talk about that concerted response and, and what kind of leverage you believe uh, the U.S. and its allies have if we do it all. Well, you know better than I do. You know, we, we have tremendous financial leverage. And you know, we're talking about access to the SWIFT banking system. We're talking about you know, sanctions on, on, on Russia's national bank. Uh, I think it's time to do it all in terms of imposing costs on Putin far beyond those that he factors in at the outset of his decision making. And, and, and as I mentioned, you know, it's really, you know, it is really fits a pattern. And this is going to continue. I mean, what's, you know, what's next? All, all of Ukraine? How about Moldova? You know, Russia already has weaponized migrants on Polish, Polish, uh, Poland's borders. You know, threatened the Baltic states with you know, massive exercises on their borders as well. He's encouraging a Serbian separatist movement in the Balkans to, to reignite conflict there and reignite nationalist, Serbian nationalist sentiment. So I, I think it's important for us to respond together. I think so far, so good, right, in terms of unity across the free world. We've had some bumps in the road there, especially those associated with Russia's ability to foster dependence on, on Russian oil and gas, right? Germany buys 50 percent of its natural gas and 41 percent of its oil uh, from, from Russia. So I think it's time for us to really take actions immediately. But also, you know, we have to shore up our supply chains. You know, we have to recognize that supply chains that were optimized for efficiency uh, have neglected the resilience necessary to withstand some of these geostrategic risks.